Today I'm trying out some boiled baby sardines. <laughs> Hi, I'm Scott. So yeah, I'm going to try out these baby sardines, which have been boiled. So you can buy these little packs in the supermarkets, but I got this one in the convenience store, the Lawson convenience store. And uh, yeah, they're really, really fresh. And some people say they're anchovies, some people say baby sardines, um, but in Japanese they call them shirasu. So they've been boiled and partially dried and they're made for the Obon festival which is in the, the summer season here in Japan. So this particular uh, style of preparation uh, relates to that festival. So that's where the name Bon Age comes from because uh, they're eaten during the Obon festival. So Bon Age Shirasu can also be eaten raw. They're called Nama Shirasu. Nama means uh, raw. So it's funny you also say Nama beer is a uh, draft beer. Nama is used a lot when talking about food and drink in Japan. So raw shirasu or Nama shirasu are typically served over rice, which is called a shirasu don, and often with soy sauce, and sometimes with grated ginger to give a nice zingy taste, and sliced green onions. So these ones here, which have been lightly boiled and, and seasoned, um, are often eaten on top of rice, but you can also put them on top of tofu, or mix them through a pasta, or of course, put them on top of rice as a shiras, uh, shirasu don, and it's served with grated radish, which is a daikon oroshi, or just some very light splashing of soy sauce, but also it can be served with like a miso sauce, or sometimes with umeboshi, which is a pickled plum. So let's take a little look inside this little package and I'm going to show you a really good way to eat them. So as we're having them as a don, which is on top of rice, uh, this is the little package of rice I got from Lawson. You can buy these, they're really cheap, and you just stick them in the microwave for a couple of minutes, which I'm gonna do right now. So as you'll have seen in that little video there, I also added some pickled plum, which is called an umeboshi. So I brought some from my house today. You can see they're like this, very homemade, they're in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> So these are basically dried and pickled in salt. So these are super healthy. I'm not going to get into the details right now of how healthy they are, but a lot of people eat these, especially in the winter, um, to stop them from catching colds, and in the summer to give them some extra energy because of the really hot summers here. So these are the pickled plums. So if we open this one up, these actually, see the little leaf thing you can see stuck to the bag there? Uh, that's a shiso which is also called a perilla, I believe, or a Japanese basil or a basil. Uh, and you can see inside here, they look like this, but uh, let's take one out. So it looks like this. Oh, they look kind of weird when you see them like that, don't they? <laughs> so they've got a big stone inside because these are homemade ones. So basically to get the stone out, you just kind of go like this and, oh, and you can see it coming out. There's a 
huge big stone inside. This big thing, that, that's all stone there. This thing here. So, of course, we don't need this one. So we'll chuck that away. And then you're left with, you know, this kind of the leftover part here. And it's really, really sour. So let me just show you just how sour it is. But they taste really good. And also some people, they put them in their drinks. So you can have this. It sounds funny, but you have shochu, which is a style of Japanese alcohol made from sweet potatoes. Uh, and you add in some hot water and one of these. And you get a chopstick and you just kind of swirl it around and this all breaks up and you have like a salted plum flavor lovely alcoholic hot beverage which you can enjoy in the winter so i've heated up my rice i tell you these they're supposed to be convenience store review videos but they sometimes turn into like a cooking show don't they <laughs> sorry about that if that's not what you're after but uh, okay so we're going to get all this set up so that's some lovely koshihikari rice good stuff this rice is going to be absolutely gorgeous now, next step, we've got to open up our little fishies. All these little fish in here, they're all waiting to, to say hello. <laughs> Let's just open this up. And I'm hoping they're not going to go flying everywhere. Okay, ready? Wow, all those little eyes just looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like something out of a horror movie, but um, okay. But it does say on the package, actually, on the bottom, I should have mentioned this. If you do have an allergy for shrimp or crab, it does say there may be tiny traces of crab, or sometimes you find tiny, tiny um, squid in there. Um, which, so if you've got an allergy, be careful of these because. Um, it's sometimes not just the sardines. It sometimes contains little traces or tiny little things in there, which because they're so small, they couldn't pick out. So just be aware of that, okay? Now, as I said, I'm gonna be adding a bit of umeboshi, which is the pickled plum, but don't add too much, especially if you're not used to it, and because it can be quite salty and a little bit sour. So, you know, just go easy on this if you're not really into that kind of thing. Of course, you don't have to add it, but uh, I like it. But uh, just add a little touch for, touch for a bit of an accent, but the one which I showed you in the video before, I put a little bit too much on, and when I tried it, uh, it was a little bit too sour and overpowering for the fish flavor, so uh, definitely don't overdo it with the umeboshi. And I'm also adding a little bit of dried seaweed, just to give it a bit of color, a bit of interest, and that little extra seafood taste. So there we go, it looks absolutely fantastic. And this combination of flavors, I just know it's gonna be superb. So first, we have to just go straight in and try the fish just on its own, the little baby sardines. Oh, definitely. How many eyes are looking at me right now? <laughs> uh, so some people have a kind of a phobia about this kind of thing, don't they? I'm, I hope you don't. So I'm just gonna try the fish the little um, baby sardines just by themselves. So they've, these have been cooked, remember? Mm. <laughs> it's amazing how juicy they are. So these, these tiny little fish, but when you bite into them, well bite into a big family of them, <laughs> the juice just kind of bursts out and spreads all over your mouth. And they have been lightly seasoned with just a simple uh, sea salt. So the flavor is not overpowering. It's not overly fishy and it's not overly salty, but it's just nice, if you know what I mean. It goes nice with anything, which is why it's really good for a topping on pasta, tofu, uh, with rice, and you can mix it with anything. It just gives a lovely uh, accent and a bit of a... Um, lovely, you know, fishy element to everything, but it's it's really nice. So, okay, let's go in. We'll try a whole mouthful of everything. Okay, here goes. It's just so simple. It's simplicity at its best. It's, there's nothing complicated in this dish at all. It's just some tiny dried fish, some steamed rice, a bit of seaweed, which 
which has had nothing done to it almost, and some pickled plum, which is just plum with a little bit of salt, which has been sun dried. The elements in it are so simple and it just, you know, it comes out in the flavor. You just feel like you're eating something natural and it's just the natural umami and the natural flavors and they all come together just to, in a, this amazing harmony. <laughs> I'm getting a bit emotional here, aren't I? Okay, let's. <laughs> now what I also like to do is if you get some leftover rice and you've got some of the shirasu in your home, you can make a really nice rice bowl. Here's one which I made earlier. And you can see it's got the pickled plum, the umeboshi, some seaweed, and you can see some of the, the shirasu in there too. So this is gonna be a fantastic rice bowl. I'm not having it today. Uh, I'm gonna keep it in the fridge and maybe have it tomorrow for breakfast, but um, you can do that too. So as for my rating, well, simplicity at its best, I'm gonna give them four stars out of five because even though it's not the most exciting of dishes, you really feel that you're having some authentic Japanese food and it's so easy, it's cheap, it's healthy, and uh, you know, it's just a really good one to try. So uh, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.